Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the eighth lecture of chapter six, bulk deformation processes. I told you earlier, uh, this chapter being bulk deformation covers many major uh, manufacturing processes. So it's rather a long chapter. Uh, what we will do today, as usual, we will uh, quickly review what we did last time in lecture seven. And today, we will hopefully cover completely rod and wire drawing, introduction, mechanics of drawing, some examples, drawing at elevated temperatures, some more examples, drawing of flat strips and tubes, and some self-study topics like defects in drawing, drawing practice, and so on. Uh, the next manufacturing process of swaging, it is also a manufacturing process, but it is covered only uh, briefly in the book. So this will not be included, okay? So what did we do last time in lecture seven so that you are mentally at the same level? Uh, you are uh, mentally right to start today's lecture. We talked of defects in extrusion like surface cracking and extrusion defect. Uh, we talked of internal cracking. We showed you uh, diagrams, uh, actual, and a schematic for internal cracking. Then we talked a little about the practice of doing extrusion. Uh, one very important thing is tube extrusion, which is hollow extrusion using mandrel and so on. And we showed you the three major types of die structures that are used to create hollow uh, shapes like tubes and pipes and other things. Porthole die, a spider die, and bridge die. We talked of hollow and semi-hollow shapes. There is solid, there is hollow, and in between there is semi-hollow. And that is where we stopped last time. It was a brief lecture compared to our normal lecture time because I did not want to jump from one manufacturing process of extrusion into the other. So this is the new manufacturing process of rod, wire, and tube drawing. Actually, it should be a one word thing called drawing. Just like forging, extrusion, rolling, one word. So the process is drawing. But generally, these are the shapes that are produced by this process, rod, wire, and tube. So it is called rod drawing or wire drawing or tube drawing. Otherwise, just the word drawing would have been enough. Also, when we say just drawing, then there is a confusion between making a technical drawing, making a production drawing and so on. So therefore, it is called rod, wire and tube drawing. Now, if you see normally in extrusion or forging and so on, there can be hundreds or some thousand, thousands of different shapes that can be made. Here, we are saying that there is a whole process with only three shapes. Right, But this is remarkable, we will see later on also. Uh, for example, rod. Rod is a solid cylinder. right? Wire is also a solid cylinder, but of a very small diameter. So the only difference between these, geometrically there is no difference. right? They are both solid cylinders, round cross section. But rod has a larger diameter and wire has a very small diameter. And tube, of course, right, is a hollow rod. right? Tube is a hollow rod. So these are the general things, but later on we will discuss more. But if you just take wire, say electrical wire, just electrical wire, one thing, no other product, but around the world, millions of tons of it may be used over right? hundreds of thousands of tons and so on, mm -hmm. just one product. So therefore, even if drawing process is producing only one product called electrical cables and wires, then the application is huge, right? So let us see, uh, the process is to reduce the cross-section of a material by pulling it through a die. Similar to extrusion, but the force is tensile. Now look at this diagram. It is exactly the diagram for extrusion. This is the container outside, this is the die, this is the die, this is the billet material, and this is the rod that is being produced. If the force is applied from here, a uh, compressive force by 
a press then it is extrusion if the force is applied from here a pulling force then the same process is extrusion uh, sorry wire drawing right so the only difference is that instead of a compressive force there is a tensile force instead of pushing you are pulling otherwise the whole setup is exactly like the setup for extrusion so you will see later on that for mechanics and for slab method and for mathematics and so on it is almost exactly the same equations right but physically it is very different you see if you are doing a wire a very thin wire if you try to do it by extrusion you cannot reduce a billet diameter into a wire and push it it is almost impossible and you want to do hundreds of meters of this not a few meters but if you are pulling it then yes yes you can keep on pulling the wire and the process goes on so this is wire drawing or rod drawing or tube drawing so let us see what we are writing here drawing is where a tube is reduced or changed in shape by pulling through a converging die it could be a tube or a rod or a wire right rod and wire drawing are finishing processes product is either used as produced or is further processed into other shapes by bending or machining when we say finishing process it means that we do not have to do any further processing right any further processing rod or wire drawing directly finally you have the product of course if you take the rod or the wire and later on bend it or machine it into other shapes that is the secondary one rod applications small pistons structural members shafts spindles raw material for bolts and screws etc right so if we just make simple rods simple solid cylinders simple solid cylinders then in all of these they are used right a simple solid cylinder which is a rod is used in pistons many structural members shafts spindles and especially it is the raw material for bolts and screws so this has a huge application again just the rod and similarly wire applications electrical wiring electronic equipment cables springs all springs are made from wires musical instrument paper clips fencing all the fences boundaries welding electrodes shopping carts so you see just wire one shape one shape a wire has huge applications so if we take these three right tube rod and wire then the amount of products the variety of products that are based on these three basic basic shapes is huge right and here we are showing it once again the diagram once again just the diagram that uh, you see the diagonal is there alpha just like in extrusion the initial cross sectional area of the billet is there the final cross sectional area of the wire or rod is there this is the die and where the material works against the die that is called the die land the die land so right so there is an entrance angle alpha and there is a relief angle at the end when it is going out of the die we also have a small angle so that it does not touch the die here exactly it is touching the die so here the work piece is in direct contact with the die so here it is called the die land and here it is the entrance angle the die cone angle and here it is called the relief angle right so uh, this is there so that the material can flow easily this is there so that the material can flow out easily without having a lot of friction but here at the die land of course the work piece and the die are directly in contact here a schematic of wire drawing with a rotating draw block right here is the starting uh, a stock in a coil form then it is going through a lubrication box and a die it is becoming a wire it is being lubricated also and here it is sort of a spindle it is rotating rotating so the wire that is coming from there can be directly wound onto a spool and so on right so the rotating motor on the draw block provides a continuous pull on the incoming wire and so on so from there from there there is the rod or the wire drawing machine and once the wire is produced then this wire goes through this 
another set of dye and lubricating box and it can be directly here and then it is spooled because otherwise if there is 1 meter 2 meter 10 meter length of wire only then do we cut it do we right in extrusion we cut it into pieces 1 meter 2 meter 3 meter whatever is required by here it is a continuous thing we don't want to produce anything else we just want wire of maybe several miles long so as much as we can we put onto one spool then we halt the process then we remove this put the other spool there and we start rotating on that right so uh, and of course there is a lubrication and so on because otherwise uh, it will touch each other and so forth right so this is a schematic of what actually happens in the field and now we directly come to the mechanics of rod and wire drawing uh, I always want you uh, I mean remember I always want you to be very practical engineers so you are in Sultan Qaboos University and just in five minutes drive is the Roussel industrial area in Roussel industrial area I mean if you just drive by on the uh, expressway you will see uh, Nohas and if you go inside the Roussel industrial area there is the Oman cables so two giant cable companies Oman cables is a huge giant and Nohas is also a huge giant so two giant cable companies are there and cable companies means something like this right something like wire drawing or something isn't it so uh, if uh, I mean the pandemic was not there and if we were visiting the companies and so on uh, we could uh, sometimes target a, a wire drawing company a cable company and so on but uh, that was digression that was going somewhere else let us come to mechanics of rod and wire drawing uh, because I as I showed you the geometry is exactly the same as the geometry of the process as in extrusion right there is a billet material there is a container which contains the die the material is going through the die it is being converted into a rod or a wire or a tube the only thing is that rather than there being a press and a ram so the whole press and ram is not there but on the other side on the final side exiting side there is a pulling mechanism there is a pulling mechanism but that is a continuous pulling because it is making into a wire it is going through the lubrication side and so on and then it is being wound around a spool and so on directly so therefore I don't want to show the slab method and the geometry and so on we are directly giving you the equations so just like in extrusion ideal deformation no friction or redundant work so the drawing stress sigma d we write sigma d sub d because it is a drawing stress it is the same y lin r a naught upon a f remember was extrusion ratio but we are not calling it r capital r because it is not extrusion so we are not calling it extrusion ratio we are using the actual terms of a naught by a f so y lin a naught by a f is the same as the ideal deformation extrusion because it is the same geometry and the drawing force of course is a stress into area right so y bar lin a naught by a f is the same thing and this a f here capital a f is the final area so if this much was the stress multiplied by the area and you get the force and instead of y if you use if you have to use y bar remember we can use y y dash y bar y bar dash that depends on the situation y bar dash is k epsilon 1 raised to n upon n plus 1 similarly to extrusion if v is the velocity then power is force into velocity it is very simple it is basic physics if you multiply velocity meter per second by force right then it will become power it will be energy per unit time so uh, if you have found a stress multiplied by the final area you will find the force multiplied by the velocity you can find the power right so this is one very simple way of summarizing all the things all the major equations in wire drawing which are very similar to the equations that were there for extrusion